Hi, I'm Beth from Speak IT Solutions. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Philips SpeechLive mobile app. Let's get started. This is the SpeechLive mobile app for authors. You can see along the top, I have a draft folder, a sent folder, a finished folder, and an archive. And these folders are where you can find all of your recordings in their various states. Now to start a recording, I tap the blue microphone symbol in the bottom right hand corner and that opens the recording screen. I'm going to give it a title and I always like to give a title first so that I don't forget. And the big red button in the middle starts the recording. This is a test recording using the Philips SpeechLive mobile app. I'm showing users how they can use the mobile app to send dictations to their typist. And I press the pause to pause recording. Now if I needed to add anything else, I can actually use these buttons on the bottom to select different modes for adding, overwriting or removing any audio. So if I want to append and add onto the end, I select append. And again, I would press the red record button. If I needed to insert, I can drag this cursor to a point in the recording and I can play. I'm showing. And hear what's there. And so then to insert, I would tap the red record button. I'm now inserting audio into the, into the recording where I place my cursor. And we can see that that audio is now inserted here. Similarly for overwrite, if I didn't need this bit on the end, I tap the red record button that would overwrite the audio. And then wherever it stops, the current audio that's there would still be there. If I wanted to delete anything after overwriting it, I select overwrite and in brackets delete rest. Now if I need to trim the recording, I can tap the scissors icon and then I can actually trim the audio to where I need it to be. And I can either delete inside the highlighted area or crop outside of the highlighted area. And of course you can cancel as well. And then if I need to save it as a draft, I can click the save icon and it will then appear in my draft folder. Say this recording is now ready to send to my typist, I tap it to reopen it and to send I tap the blue arrow button. Now I want to send it to my typist so I select typist and for most cases you need to select the typist that has your name and then default team underneath it and that will send it to your default typist. The view refreshes and I can see it's now gone out of draft and if I tap sent I can see that it's now in my sent folder. I, I can see information including the status, so it's in transcription pending. I can see the time that it was recorded. I can see the length of the recording and I can see which typing team it's currently with. When that's transcribed and finished by the typist, it will appear in my finished folder. And then after the time that has been set in my account to archive, it will then go into my archive. In recordings, you can give the recordings more information. So if I needed to assign it to a certain department or add a status in the properties at the bottom, I can add more information to the recording. So if there's a due date, I can add a due date and a due time. I can also set the priority between standard, high and critical and then I can set further properties in the list as needed. If there is a photo or a video that you need to attach to the recording, then you can tap photo and upload from your phone and similarly for video. And then that information will show on the typist's end as well. If you need to discard, you tap the cross in the top left hand corner and tap discard. There are settings in SpeechLive that you can set up for yourself by tapping the cog in the top right hand corner. For example, keep display on during recording. This will mean that your screen won't go to sleep while you're recording. 
and Do Not Disturb will also prevent any notifications coming through while you're recording your audio. If you have speech recognition enabled on your account, you can also enable speech recognition on this device. And you can also set preferred teams as well if you want to automatically select your preferred typist or team. If you have a pin or biometric set up on your phone like a fingerprint or face ID, you can also switch that option on to make logging into the app quicker. If you have speech recognition on your account and you want to start a new speech recognition recording, tap the speech bubble and then you can record here. This is a test speech recognition recording, full stop, new paragraph. I'm showing speech live users how to use speech recognition using the mobile phone app, full stop. This is available on both Android and iPhone, full stop, new paragraph. Kind regards, comma, new line, Beth. And as you can see, it shows you the speech recognition in real time. And when you send this to your preferred typist by tapping the next icon, and go to sent, you can see it's in correction pending because it's attached the transcription that it did in real time to the recording for your typist to read through while they listen to the audio and make any corrections needed. And that's how to use the Philips Speech Live mobile app. If you have any questions about this video, any of our other products, or if you'd like to place an order, then give us a call on 0121 456 7800.